Hi everybody, Russell here. Let's get right into it. So how do we find those top dividend paying stocks? 3% or better dividend yield. Let's use UniSearch, makes it quick and easy. So we click on UniSearch and all we're going to do here is we're going to create a new search. So if you're not already selected one there, new search. And all I'm going to do is as follows, parameter there, first blank box, click. Then I'm going to hover my mouse over stocks, hover my mouse over dividend analysis, select dividend yield. Greater than or equal to in the operator box and then the value, the custom value and enter in 3%. That's it. If I run the search, look at that, straight away at my fingertips, here are all the stocks that meet 3% or better. So instead of showing the top 10, I'll show all, run the search again, and look at that. If I scroll down here, plenty there at your fingertips. Now, not all stocks that are 3% or better are going to be the best stocks. We need to do a bit more analysis. So in here, what I'm going to do now, Word notes parameter, next blank box, click, go stocks, then go to dividend safety, so dividend yield analysis, and then let's see, find dividend safety. Okay, so stocks, hover over dividend analysis, dividend safety. Dividend safety, greater than or equal to, put it at least 50 or better. So we know in Australia, 50 or better is a very good score, 60 is exceptional. So I'll make it at least 50 or better. All right, so, so far, so good. Let's make sure that our earnings are growing because as we've seen, rising earnings, rising share price, rising earnings, consistent, safe dividends. So we'll back this up with some earnings. So in here, click the next blank box, red notes, stocks, hover over stocks, hover over capital appreciation, and then put in EPS. All right, so we're going to come in and put in EPS. In the operator here, change this to be delta. So a rate of change taking place, delta. And then in the value here, click on the blank box and over here, we're gonna look over, let's say the last two to three years, right? So let's say we'll say at least three years, three times 52, 52 weeks. I'll make this week, so that will be 156 weeks up to you depending how you want to do it you can do it in weeks or if you prefer you can do it in days i'll say over the last 156 weeks and where it notes display i'm going to say greater than or equal to and put in for argument's sake 20 percent find me companies where the dividend yield is three percent or better the dividend safety is at least 50 so that's a good score over the last 156 where the Earnings have grown by at least 20% or more. Push OK. That's it. There we go. So straight away now we've got this all at our fingertips. And the next thing I want to do, I just want to make sure I've got no penny stocks. So click on stocks, price volume, price split adjusted, greater than or equal to in the operator, and in the value, put in $1. That's it. So if I pull this down a bit just so you can see this, 3% or better, at least 50. Over the last 156 weeks have grown their earnings by at least 20%, and the price is at least $1. Okay, so straight away you've got a handful of great dividend-paying stocks to consider. Let's do one last check and balance. Let's make sure there's plenty of volume. Parameters here, I'm going to hover over stocks, price volume, and the 50-day volume here greater than or equal to custom value at least 50,000 trades a day on average there we are run the search and there it is there are all of our stocks now at our fingertips so what we can do now is we can start cherry picking through the type of stocks that we like and looking in at the dividends all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the first one i'm going to scroll down just a wee bit here hold my shift key down select a tranche graph selected what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be looking for an excellent left to right profile with a rising set of earnings, and I want to put on the dividend parameter. This is dividends paid in dollars and cents. Okay, so if you haven't got it, you click add parameter, and you'll find it under dividend analysis. So if I remove this one here, add parameter, dividend analysis, there's your div. I right, put the div on, right click, change the style, make it jump out a bit, and I'll change the color here. Okay. So that's how I do that one there. And then what I also like to do, add parameter, dividend analysis, and I'll put in the yield. 
So I can just keep my eye on this. Wow, a whopping 6% dividend yield. What's not to like in terms of that yield? So you can see dividends have come up. And you can see the yield's holding steady around about 6% there currently. A little bit under pressure, but at 6%, who's complaining? Even half that would be very appealing. Okay. And then what I like to do is I like to click where it notes dividends down here. See there? So click on dividends, and this will then bring up your div X date and your payment date. So if you bought a stock just before div X and you sold out on div X date, you still get the payment. You'll get the dividend payment. So be careful in a strategy like that. It's often referred to as dividend stripping. It's not something that I would promote. You've got to be careful. You know, be wary of people that call you up to say, hey, you know, I've got a, a, an offer here for you. You can buy into Fortescue Metals just before Div X date. And then on Div X date, we'll sell out for you. And you'll get that whopping dividend on offer. Not all 6% of it because it will be a, uh, their interim div dividends throughout the year. There's an interim and a final. But you could still be in the running to get 2 to 3%. But the problem is that often you'll see that with companies as Div X date approaches, typically the share price falls back. So kind of trying to buy in just a day before and then trying to sell out on Div X date in order to get your dividends, you try to sell out and the share price typically falls. So uh, it can often drop as much as what the dividend on offer is. So just be careful on that, okay? Uh, so I'm not going to advocate sort of trading in and out like that. What we would do is we'd look to get in when the market's rising. We'll get in and then after Div X date, we can then exit in an orderly fashion should we choose. And we're still eligible to get the dividend payment. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to use your market timing in your favor. You want to buy safe, undervalued stocks at rising in price or solid rising earnings. And then at some point you can choose where you're going to sell so you'll set your stop losses in your risk and money management rules to make sure that you're not just buying holding and hoping so for example in recent times here i could have looked to have got in on div just prior to div x date let's put on our confirmed signals our most conservative of all of our signals all right so i can see the market was in a confirmed up and as div x date occurred effectively so you would have looked to have bought in the day before for example, but you can see that the share price was starting to fall away. It certainly wasn't going in the direction you want it to go. So that is a red flag to begin with. And as it turned out, well, would you have bought in the day before? No, because the share was sell rated. So you want to be careful. So you might have missed out on that opportunity. But it's okay. You're not going to get in at all costs. You wait till the next opportunity. Here we are. We've now got a confirmed up. Div X date is approaching. So you may consider buying in. Just before Div X date, you've got market timing in your favor. It's buy rated. The earnings are powering up. There would be a company that you could consider going in for both capital growth and dividends. Okay, you get the idea. So if you're looking to make good yield of the market, you don't have to hold a company for 12 months. For example, in order to get the dividend, you literally go in just before Div X date, and then you can exit at a date to your liking thereafter. Unlike a term deposit where you have to hold, for example, full 365 days. Okay, so uh, just something for you to consider. I'm not advocating a dividend st stripping type strategy. They're dangerous where you're going in and out, day in and day out, trying to pick up dividends. It's not the type of strategy I'm advocating. I'm saying go in in an orderly fashion when you're in a confirmed up. And let's say Div X date was going to pop up over here. Provided that the earnings are still firing up on this company, provided that the fundamentals and technicals still stack up, then you could look to buy in, knowing full well that you're buying a good quality company, safe, undervalued, rising in price, with a rising set of earnings, where dividends are just about to be paid out with that Div X date coming up. Okay, so Div X and then typically a, a week or three thereafter, the payouts occur. So there's X and then payout. If you go back in time, there's X, there's payout. All right, if I looked at the strategy here, for example, here we go, we were in a confirmed down. All right, so there I would have said, no, I'm going to wait until the market turns around before I consider going back in again. So you wouldn't have been eligible for that dividend set over there, for example. All right, let's go back a little bit further in time. Here, wow. Confirmed up, Div X date occurs, so you might have considered buying in a day or two before. All right, you hang on because you're still not confirmed up. Keeps firing up, right about here. You get the confirmed down. You might consider at that point there. Well, great, I've 
been able to sell out at a higher price than what I bought in at, plus I got my dividend payout as well. All right, so VectorVest makes it really easy to consider these types of strategies because look at that, you've got all the top dividend paying stocks now at your fingertips. You've got dividend yield of 3% or better, safety track record of 50 or better, companies growing their earnings over the last 156 weeks in this example, price at least a dollar, and at least 50,000 trades taking place a day on average. Look how quick and easy VectorVest makes it in order for you to find those top dividend paying stocks. And it doesn't just end there. You can do the same strategy in the United States, Canada, Europe, Hong Kong, Singapore, for example. We give you the ability around the world whereby you've got the tools at your fingertips. So I hope you enjoyed the strategy this week. It is easy to find good yield in the current market if you've got the right tools. Thank you, VectorVest. You make it so easy to find.